Welcome to Simply Logical. This is Venkatesh. There are three circles presented here. There are three numbers embedded in each circle. We are supposed to find the missing number in the third circle. Observe the numbers carefully and there is a relation between the numbers. Can you find the missing number? Feel free to pause the video and give a try before checking the solution. Once you are done, keep watching the video for the solution. If you are visiting my channel for the first time, do consider subscribing to my channel. Let me explain the solution now. First of all, finding the relation between the numbers is not easy since it is not straightforward. By solving more and more such problems and through practice, we can solve these kind of problems in minimum time. So coming back to the problem, the logic here is uh, the left number multiplied by 5 gives the total of the other two. So let's consider the first circle. Here left number is 27 and sum of other two numbers is 56 plus 79 which equals to 135. Now multiply the left number that is 27 with 5 which yields 135 which is nothing but the sum of other two numbers in the right side. So in the first circle 27 times 5 equals 56 plus 79 which is equal to 135. This is the logic for this particular problem. So let's consider the second uh, circle. So left number is 23 and sum of other two numbers is 88 plus 27, which is equal to 115. Now multiply the left number that is 23 with 5, which yields 115, which is nothing but the sum of other two numbers in the right side. So 23 times 5 equals 88 plus 27, which is equal to 115. So apply the same logic in the third circle. So we have left number and we are supposed to find the missing number in the right side. Here the equation becomes 16 times 5 equals 56 plus x where x is the missing number. Solving for x, x becomes 16 times 5 minus 56 which equals to 80 minus 56 which is equal to 24. So thus the value of x is 24. So 24 is the missing number in the third circle. If you have figured it out the solution then it is great. Else nothing to worry. Keep practicing more and more such kind of problems. That's all for this video. Let me know if you have any questions. I will try to address as soon as possible. If you have similar kind of problems where you are struggling to find the solution do comment in the comment section. I will try to provide the simplistic solution for such kind of problems. Thanks for watching and thank you for your support.